Several years ago, I went to the emergency department. I spent all day in the emergency department having tests run. In the evening, I was told I was going to be admitted to the hospital. A room had been requested for me. Around 11 p.m., my emergency department nurse informed me my room upstairs in the hospital was ready. He was going to take me to my room along with someone from transportation. I was overwhelmed with joy. I was not going to have to spend the entire night in the very noisy emergency department. Oh, happy joy. When we arrive on the hospital floor, I am pushed towards the nurse's station. When one of the nurses sees I'm on a ventilator, she immediately springs up. Stop! 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 No! I cannot have this patient. She is on life support. I already have five other patients. I do not have time to take care of somebody on life support. No, she is too much work. Take her back to the emergency department. The nurse from the emergency department interjects. She is a very easy patient. She takes care of everything herself. She manages her ventilator herself. She does not require much care. No, I already called my supervisor. I told her I cannot take someone on a ventilator. This patient has been pulled from this hospital floor. You are not understanding. I too thought she required extra care. But I have had her several times in the emergency department. She does not require extra care. In fact, she will be your easiest patient. You are making a big mistake. She needs this room. No, the supervisor agreed with me. Someone on a ventilator needs too much care. She cannot be in a regular hospital room. She has been pulled from the system. Take her back to the emergency department. And with those words, my emergency department nurse knew he had been defeated. He told the person from transportation to turn my bed around and take me back to the emergency department. I cannot tell you how crushed I was hearing I lost the opportunity to spend the night in a nice, peaceful hospital room. My visions of getting some sleep were dashed. Now I was going back to the very chaotic and very noisy emergency department. I would not be getting any sleep tonight. As we made our way back to the emergency department, my emergency department nurse apologized to me. I am so sorry. The nurse refused to have you as a patient. She is making a big mistake. When you came to the emergency department a few months ago, I was scared to have you as a patient because you are on life support. I thought you would require a lot of care. But actually, you were my easiest patient. You took care of your ventilator yourself, and you were very kind and did not demand things from me. It is a real pleasure to have you as a patient. I usually do not take my patients to their rooms, but I knew I needed to come with you. I thought the nurse might have an issue with you having a ventilator, but I thought if I came, I could convince her you do not require a lot of care. I am so sorry. I was not able to change the nurse's mind. She missed out on having a great patient. I was deeply moved by the emergency department nurse's words to me. I was in awe that he thought so much of me as to accompany me to the hospital floor and fight for me to have a room. I said to the emergency department nurse, Thank you for fighting for me. That means a lot to me.
we went back to the emergency department. I was now stuck in the emergency department for the rest of my hospitalization because the nursing staff said I required a high level of care and needed to be in the intensive care unit. The doctors and hospital staff disagreed and said I only required to be in a regular hospital room. Due to this gridlock, I spent the entire length of my hospitalization in the emergency department. Life on life support can be quite challenging. Not only do I have to deal with my medical issues, but I often have to fight for the care I need. The emergency department is full of sick people and infectious diseases. This is the last place where someone with a weak immune system and a tracheostomy tube should be. And yet, this is often where I spend far too much of my time because the nurses and doctors disagree about the level of care I require. The doctors know I can manage my ventilator and medical needs. The nurses, however, only see my chart and the words life support and assume I need round-the-clock care. I could be angry or upset, but instead, I try to educate the world by creating videos. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.